Hello and welcome to another quick tip from the Coburn Supply Technical Support Team. My name is Jody LaPointe and today we're going to be discussing wiring the refrigerant detection sensor on a new A2L coil. First we're going to look at wiring it to a single stage or a two stage non-communicating gas furnace. First we'll start out with the yellow wire from the RDS to the thermostat Y1. Next we have the yellow and blue wire that's going to go from the RDS sensor to the furnace Y1. Next we'll connect our red and black R, our 24 volt power from the RDS directly to the furnace control board R. Then we'll connect our 24 volt common from the RDS to our furnace control board common. Next we have a black wire from the RDS sensor that will connect to the heating speed tap on the furnace. There is a dual spade connector supplied with the evaporator coil. You will piggyback the ECM blower motor heat tap along with the RDS sensor on the board. Note that the orange and orange and black wires are not used for non-communicating equipment. For equipment using a communicating thermostat and a non-communicating outdoor unit, we'll connect the E1 terminal from the RDS directly to the furnace E1 terminal. Then we'll connect the orange and black E2 to the E2 terminal on the furnace. Then next we'll connect our red and black R24 volts from the RDS directly to the R on the furnace. Then we'll connect our 24 volt common brown wire to the furnace control board directly to common. Note that we're not using the yellow, yellow and black, and black wires. These are not needed when using communicating equipment. Next, let's look at the non-communicating legacy thermostat wiring to the communicating outdoor unit. From the RDS sensor, we'll run E1 orange to E1 on the furnace board. E2 orange and black will go from RDS directly to the furnace board, E2. The red and black R, 24 volt wire, will go from the RDS directly to the furnace R. Next we have common, our 24 volt common is going to go from the RDS directly to the furnace common. And again, we're not using the yellow, yellow and black, and black wires. They are not needed when using communicating equipment. Let's look at a fully communicating system. Our orange, E1, is going to go directly from the RDS directly to the furnace board. E2, our orange and black, will go to the E2 terminal from the RDS. Next we have our 24 volt R terminal. It's going to go from R on the RDS up to the furnace R. Then we have our 24 volt common. It's going to go from the RDS to our furnace common. And again, because it's communicating equipment, we're not using the yellow, yellow and black, or black wires. They need to be capped off. Now let's look at a third party furnace wire up. This would be a non-ream type furnace. We have our yellow from the RDS going directly to R on the non-communicating thermostat. And we have our yellow and blue going from the RDS directly to R on the furnace. The indoor blower connection from the RDS to the furnace is a 24 volt connection. It's designed to work with ECM type motors. If you're using a 120 volt motor, you'll need a relay at this point to operate the blower. And then next we'll hook up our 24 volt R, which is the black and red wire, directly from the RDS to the furnace. And then we'll have our brown wire 24 volt common to the furnace common. And we're not using, of course, the orange and orange and black wires in this application. Like always, thank you for watching and supporting Coburns. Please visit our website at www.coburns.com or our Coburns Connect app. And if you have any questions about this video, please email us, hvac at coburns.com. Thank you. Have a great day.